Hey what's up YouTube, it's Strange. For today's video I'll be showing you how to send trackouts the proper way. Now trackouts, for those of you who don't know what that is, is basically the stem of each part of a song. Now this is very useful if you're working with an engineer and you want to have your beat mixed or if you're working with another producer and they need the stems so they could continue working off of what you've already done. And it's also very useful if you're a producer and you're selling exclusive licenses on your website because trackouts give the artist uh, all the stems so if they want to make the beat longer or shorter they have the ability to do so because they have all the stems. For those of you who don't know I mix and master beats for other producers as well and oftentimes when I ask to send trackouts um, a lot of you guys don't know how to send them properly so rather than explain the process over and over I figured I'd just make a video on this. If you find this helpful in any way, be sure to hit the thumbs up and be sure to leave a comment down below. I drop a video every week so be sure to subscribe if you're not already. Without too much talking guys, let's get straight into this video. Alright guys, so we're here inside FL Studio and as you can see, this is for the track out tutorial. I'll probably put this beat out later uh, on my website for sale. But for right now, this is my project to have everything color coordinated because it helps me in the process of making the beat. Now the first thing you want to do when you send track out is make sure that you have every one of these sounds in the beat into the mixer. If you don't know how to do that, it's very simple. If you want this to be in Mixer Track 8, um, you're just gonna move this up. And as you can see, it moves it to Mixer Track 8. You just want to make sure that there's nothing on the master channel. So right now I have a Maximus on there, so we'll play that. It, it, it's strange. <laughs> but if I'm sending this out to get mixed and mastered, um, you're not gonna wanna have anything on here. So be sure that you click onto your master channel and make sure that nothing is on here. So let's just go ahead and take this off. Another thing you want to do is make sure that if you want a certain sound EQ'd a certain way, make sure that you leave it on there how you want it EQ'd. If you take all the EQs off and stuff, the engineer might not know that you had it EQ'd a certain way, a certain sound. So he might change it. So anything that you want to stay, any EQs or any reverbs or anything like that, be sure to keep them on. But if you're cool with everything getting changed up, then none of these have to be here. Uh, let's just say that you finish this beat and you're ready to send the track outs out. What you want to do is go to File, Export, click Wave right here. And as you can see, we have Track Out Tutorial. Now we're going to save this. And then you want to click Split Mixer Track. If you don't do this, then your track outs won't come out. So you want to make sure you click split mixer tracks and you want to click start. Don't worry too much about these settings because they should be fine the way they are when they first come up. <clears throat> so now we just wait for this to go ahead and render and I'll take you through the next steps. Alright guys, so as you can see we have the track, it's finished rendering. What you're going to want to do is open up wherever you have your project saved to. So for me, I just have a projects folder here and we're gonna search for the name of it and it was called Tutorial Trackouts. And as you can see, we get a whole bunch of different stems here. One is the snare, open hat, perk, hi-hat, etc, etc. Any noise that's in the beat basically is gonna be tracked out here. Um, now, when you send this to an engineer, um, you're going to want to send all of everything except for the current. Um, so, let's just say that I wanted to send this out. What we're going to do is just highlight everything, scroll down. Once it's all highlighted, you're going to want to right click, go to send to compress zip folder. You're going to click it this little pop-up should pop up and you're just gonna click yes and what that does is all these little stems it's just gonna put it into a folder to make it nice and easy for whoever you're sending it to to access all these things without having to download a bunch of individual files now we just go ahead and wait for this to finish up and I'll take you through the next step Alright guys, so it has finished up, so I had it sent to my desktop, so that's where it should be for me. Now, as you can see, the folder is right here. 
so it says track out tutorial so we're just gonna want ahead and rename this to track out tutorial um, we're just gonna put produced by strange world boom okay so here we have the track out folder when you send them the email you just want to go ahead and stick this in the email whoever opens this folder will get all the stems inside as you can see and that's how you send track outs guys so like I said guys, if you found this video helpful, be sure to leave a thumbs up and drop a comment down below. As I said previously, I post a new video every week, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. I want to thank you guys for taking the time out to watch this video. Peace.